hello welcome back to my channel and before you say oh my god she's looking rough well this is what i always look like before i dye my hair and i'm gonna be trying this for the first time usually i use bleach because my roots are absolutely awful <laughs> and i want to be trying i'm gonna be trying this today because usually i use bleach on my roots but i want to give it a break and just use a normal colorant off the from the shop um it was seven pound and it looks really good it's quite blonde and on the back i always look at the back as the at the shades to make sure that my color like i'm not black but i am quite dark brown so i'm hoping for uh, quite a bright shade so here goes wish me luck the gloves are pretty good because they usually when you buy a box say um the gloves are so huge they're really uncomfortable when you're trying to get in all the different nooks and crannies so that's a good thing they're quite small because i have got small hands so i've mixed number one with number one give it a good shake and it also come with this nozzle so i think you could put up that on there if you wanted a streak effect if you wanted highlights or like an ombre you could um do it from halfway down if you wanted an ombre look but i'm just going to be using the nozzle just to go in and out on my roots and it also came with, which I've never seen before, is not only a conditioner, a mask, conditioner, treatment, after it's done, but also shampoo. Looks good. As you can see, I'm just putting the nozzle in, squirting, in, squirting, and rubbing. And I can feel where it's going with the coldness. Just to make sure all my scalp is saturated. I wouldn't do this if I was using bleach because it would, obviously I'm going to get it on the ends of my hair. Like this one is not so harsh. I wouldn't do this because I'd have to separate my hair and offer it to go on the rest of my blonde because it just caused more damage than what I already got. So it's all covered now. i covered all my roots and now I'm going to wait. I usually wait till I can see it start turning and then if I get uh, my desired colour then I'll wash it out. It says to leave on you for 40 minutes so but that sounds quite a long time to me so i'll leave it till about 15 20 and i'll have a look to see how it's lifted if it's lifted at all and then i'll be either washing it off or if it's not as light as i want it i'll leave it till the 40 so see you in a bit so i've left it on now it's 25 minutes i've been on for and you can see it's gone like a golden ashy colour. I'm really pleased with it. So I'm going to wash it off. So I've washed and dried my hair. The shampoo and conditioner smelled awesome. And I'm really happy with the outcome. It's like a golden colour, not so white as I usually do it, but it looks more natural, I think. So I give it a nine and a half out of ten. Let's just see how long it lasts before I need to do my roots again. But all in all, very good, very chuffed with it, and I'd be definitely using it again. Hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did don't forget to like and subscribe 
and I'll see you again next time. Bye. Hey, keep me where the light is, keep me where the bright is, too